Welcome back, everyone. RiskFeesTaxes.com. Higher Ground Finance Group. My name is Raz. And I'm Daniel Razvi. And we're father-son team. We own Higher Ground Financial Group. And we'd love for you to go to RiskFeesTaxes.com and make an appointment. Talk to us. Ask us questions. We want to resolve the risk, fees, and taxes in your retirement income to create additional or higher income than you thought possible. So today, I want, or at least in this segment, I want to talk about uh, tax planning, especially with IRAs and especially for legacy. So one of the things that comes to mind is probably Roth conversions. Right. So Roth conversions started not too long ago. Yeah, 2010. Yeah, 2010, you can start doing Roth conversions. Some people call it the backdoor Roth. You, you couldn't you know, put money in a Roth, but you could do a backdoor Roth. You could put money in an IRA, a SEP, a 401k, and then convert it to Roth, and now you have a Roth. Pay the taxes. That's one option, but that's a fairly recent option. What do people do before that? So before uh, Roth conversions were possible, the only way you'd really take IRA money and make it tax-free in the future was with life insurance. Was, and that was IRS Rule 7702 that yeah. allowed life insurance accumulation, cash accumulation inside of life insurance to be completely tax-free if it's used properly. And the death benefits to be tax-free. And that's the most important thing when you're planning on a legacy and estate planning with, with the, um, the Roth conversions or life insurance. So I call life insurance the old-fashioned Roth conversion. So when somebody asks for a Roth conversion, they'll say, "You do you want a, the normal, the new Roth conversion or the old-fashioned Roth conversion?" And uh, you know, old doesn't mean worse. There are many really uh, real advantages to using life insurance instead of Roth conversions for the purposes of tax planning in your retirement. And so let's let's use an example. Let's say you have a million dollars in your IRA that you don't need to spend. You've decided, look, I have enough money with. Uh, my enough income, um, cash flow. Enough, enough income with with my pension and social security and other assets, maybe other, even other IRAs, rental property. Or this whatever. this IRA, this million dollars, I'm not going to be touching, and it's going to go to my kids. Okay, well, you recognize hopefully that that's all taxable, so the kids are going to have to pay tax, and they'll likely be in a higher tax bracket than you are. Um, not only because taxes go up over time generally, but also think about when your kids will inherit the money. They're going to inherit the money probably in their 50s and 60s. If you live to an average life expectancy, your kids will probably be 50 or 60 years old. And that's one of the highest earning years they're ever going to have. So they will inherit this IRA at the height of their career, and it could put them in a higher bracket. So because of that, if you want to leave the best legacy possible for your kids, you want to convert this to tax-free. That doesn't mean you have to do a Roth. It's other, life insurance may also be an option. So let's walk through both of those and see what, what will be you know, it, the advantage of one or the other. Well, if you take a million dollars, let's say you want to convert it to Roth. Can I put the entire thing into a life insurance policy? You can. There, there's advantages and disadvantages for, for that, but let's, let's go through Roth first. Okay. So a million dollars, let's convert it to Roth. How does that work? You can do it all at once or you can spread it out. Right. So you could take a look at your tax bracket. See how much room there is. So you don't want to go, you may not want to go into a higher tax bracket. You may. Sometimes it makes sense to go into a higher tax bracket because you know what's coming down the line. So you can, let's say you decide you're going to do a 10 year plan. We're going to convert this million dollars to Roth over the next 10 years. So every year you take out $100,000, pay some tax, and then you put the remainder into the Roth. Now, hopefully you have money to pay the tax from another account. But if you don't, then that's, that's how it's going to work. You're going to take money, pay the tax, put it into a Roth. And now and the Roth will go tax free. And it's very important if you have the money someplace else, it's better to pay the taxes from outside the Roth, because <clears throat> if you take that hundred thousand and pay the taxes from it, now you have seventy thousand, and you put it in a Roth. Well, now you have seventy thousand instead of a hundred. You can't put more money in, but you could always take it out and pay off whatever other place you wanted to, you took it out from. So even if it's a home equity line of credit, or if it's you know uh, some savings, emergency fund. Now that Roth can become your emergency fund. So don't worry about spending that on a Roth conversion because now you have the Roth, which is now an emergency fund, even as a with the five year rule, if you're over 59 and a half, you know, you can take whatever you converted out whenever you want to. So the the Roth, you put the money in every year uh, from the conversion. And let's say after the 10 years, you end up with a million dollars and it's all tax free now because it's Roth. And you also have the growth on that. So whatever you invested in, it'll grow to over your lifetime. And so maybe over the next 20 years, that million dollars will become $2 million or $2.5 million, maybe. Or maybe you pick a bad investment and it goes down. Uh, hopefully you pick a good investment and it grows over time. But whenever you make a Roth conversion, then that amount is immediately available to spend. So if you want to spend it, you can take it back out the next year. 
Um, and there's a five-year waiting period for any growth that happens after the conversion. But the money, your own principal, you can take back right away. Okay? And then when you die... If you're over 59 and a half. If you're over 59 and a half. Now, when you die, your kids will inherit that money tax-free. And they'll get the total balance, whatever the balance is at death. So if it's a million, two million, 1.5, whatever it grows to, that's what your kids get. So now let's look at a the life insurance option. So with life insurance, you well, also uh, before we move on to life insurance, I mean the big thing with the Roth conversions that you got to make a, a, take into consideration is you are paying taxes, and if you pay tax on a hundred thousand and the value goes down now, now you've overpaid on your taxes. So you have to make sure before you convert that you have protected your asset so you don't end up paying too much in taxes. Because if you you know, convert a hundred thousand and pay tax on a hundred, and now that hundred thousand is only worth eighty, you're gonna look at it and say I should just wait until it was eighty. Then I would have paid less taxes. Exactly. So again, preservation from market loss is very, very important. As important, if not more important, than the tax savings. All right. But assuming you've done that, assuming it's it's going to be protected from loss and it's going to grow at a reasonable interest rate, that's how that works. Then life insurance. So with life insurance, you also have a choice. You could do a lump sum, or you can uh, pu uh, put it in over time. So let's use that same ten year schedule. Uh, you know, let's say, and and with life insurance, you should be aware. If you do a lump sum, then the it's possible you may owe some tax if you take the money out during your lifetime. But you still would, your kids will not owe any, any tax, so it still so, works as a tax free savings so the for kids. Death benefit is still tax free, but if you want to take some money out, you will end up you could end up paying taxes on it because it's called a modified endowment contract. And so, if right. you want to keep the tax free status while you're alive, also then you have to be more strategic about it and make sure you follow the IRS rules. But most people don't want to do a lump sum anyway because they don't want to pay that much tax all in one year. They'd rather stretch right. it out over several years. So you can do a 5 or 7 or 10 or 20-year payment into the life insurance. So let's use the same 10-year schedule. So you take 100000 out, pay the tax, put it in the life insurance. And maybe you pay the tax from somewhere else also. So either way, money goes into the life insurance. But here's the difference. Even though you're paying that much, in, in, you know, people say, well, why should I pay $100,000 a year for life insurance? That's a lot of money. Well, why not pay $500,000 or a million? It doesn't really matter what you're paying. It matters what you're going to get for it, right? And so, yes, when you're older and you start this, if you're 60, 65, 70, and you start this plan, you're going to pay a lot of money into this policy, but that's okay. What is the benefit that you're getting out of it? So normally, if let's, uh, and, and this is a, a, uh, ran, kind of a random number. It's it's it's, it's reasonable based on the age and, and the amounts of stuff. But let's say you're 65 and you put 100 thousand dollars in. The death benefit might be two or three million dollars. So you might have immediately in the first year you might have a two million dollar death benefit, or maybe you'll have a, a million dollar death benefit that grows every year. So there's different ways to set it up. Um, but and you still have the part of money you haven't converted. So you still have 900 thousand you haven't converted. So now you immediately created a larger legacy, 1 million of death benefit from life insurance and 900,000 from your IRA still there. So let's say you start with a lower death benefit. It's only a million dollars. And there may be some reasons you want to do that. So after you put the money in the life insurance, then the next year you die, well, the insurance company pays a million dollars tax-free to your kids. And you still have the 900,000 left in the IRA that you haven't converted. Yeah, it's taxable because you haven't converted it yet. But, but they got a million dollars tax free they can pay the taxes from. Basically, you doubled your money in a year. So if you live a long time, which is what we hope, you do live a long uh, life, then over time, let's say over that 10 years, now you've put in a million dollars into it. But now the death benefit is two or three million dollars and it's paid up. So you're not going to ever put any more money into that for the rest of your life. And the longer you live, the death benefit continues to grow just as any other asset that's invested in place. The only thing is it can't go negative. It can't and, go backwards. And it's tax-free. So what about taking money out? Well, if you put money into life insurance, generally you have to wait several years before you start taking large amounts out if you do it all. And so that's the difference between a Roth conversion and a life insurance. With a Roth conversion, you can take your money back out immediately um, you know, without paying any taxes or penalties or anything like that, depending on what it's invested in. With the life insurance, you do have to wait several years. You'll, you Often you'll have some money available in the first year or two, but not all of your contributions. And in fact, it usually takes more than 10 years before you have access to all of your contributions. So if this is money that you're going to be spending or need to spend in the next several years, then it may not be as, as advantageous to do life insurance. But in the example I gave at the beginning, this is we said this is money that you want to leave to the kids. You have enough other money 
for, for your normal expenses. And yeah, you might have an emergency need for some of this money, but you're not going to need a million dollars to spend on your lifestyle. So if it's really for the kids, then life insurance is a lot more efficient. It can double or triple the amount of wealth that you give to your kids with no taxes. And that's really important because you're leveraging a dollar for three or four dollars. OK, when you do a regular or modern, as Daniel likes to say, modern or new fangled Roth conversion, you're actually getting dollar for dollar. But when you do life insurance, you're getting two or three dollars for that one dollar. So the, for the legacy, it is actually much more advantageous to do life insurance than Roth conversion. And, you know, it grows. You can't you can't spend the death benefit while you're alive. But you know what? Your kids get a lot bigger death benefit. You can spend the money you have in there, the cash value. Now, in the cash value, there's different things. There's cash value. There's accumulation value. There's uh, uh, the cash surrender cash value. Uh, so there's different levels uh, or you know, because there's what's called a surrender charge. And if you have a surrender charge in that, that means that you're not out of that time period, but the insurance company wants to recoup some of their money. And that's why I said you have to really wait several years before you can access the money. That's a better way to think access about it. Access all of it. You can access some of it. Mm-hmm. You mean the first year. If you set it yeah. up properly, you can even access some of the money the first year. But the main reason you're doing it is for legacy planning. And so you might be thinking, well, that this is all sounds great, but maybe I won't qualify because I have this health problem or that health problem. Well, the... the you could talk to us. So the best way to find out is talk to us. We are uh, appointed with all the different uh, uh, insurance companies pretty much. So we have a lot of different options and we are fiduciaries. That means we have to recommend what's in your best interest and we can shop around and see what you can qualify for. But so we some are, of the things that you may think may be a problem in health may not be a problem for life insurance. It may be a morbidity, not mortality problem. And morbidity means you may not have the best quality of life, but you're going to live a long time. And the main the main things that a lot of insurance companies are going to look for are are major uh, health events like heart attacks and cancer and things like that. But even if you've had cancer in the past, you may even qualify for life insurance. So it doesn't automatically exclude you just because you you think you have a specific health condition. So go to our website, riskfeestaxes.com. And when we put together a plan, we'll do a, a, a Zoom call with you to, to meet with you. And there's no cost for the first meeting. Go to riskfeestaxes.com and meet with us. And then let us help you decide, does it make sense to do a Roth conversion or does it make sense to do an old-fashioned Roth conversion, a life insurance uh, and plan? You know, and you know what, Daniel? I've heard clients say, well, I really don't like insurance companies. I really hate insurance companies. Well, you don't have to love insurance companies. You just have to hate them less than the IRS. That's exactly right. And- so it's just a tool. Don't worry about the name. You can call it a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I don't really care. we got to look at what the benefits are. If, if the benefits are something that you, you want, then it doesn't really matter what it's called. And a simple uh, uh, way to figure it out is if you want to spend a lot of this money immediately and you want to spend it all, especially during your lifetime, then Roth conversions might be better. If you definitely want to leave it to the kids and you're young enough and healthy enough that you could qualify, then life insurance could be much better of an option. But it really depends on the person. We are fiduciaries. So go to riskfeestaxes.com and we'll be happy to talk with you. Again, riskfeestaxes.com.